all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to talk about spider-man 2 we're going to go over the potential release date for the game we're also going to talk about all of the upcoming leaks and rumors for insomniac's next game this is one of the biggest playstation exclusive games for next year so you guys do not want to miss out on all of the information that we talk about in this video so definitely stick around to the end especially if you guys are as excited as i am for spider-man 2. let's go ahead and set the stage it's 2014 insomniac games who also at the time had recently released an xbox one exclusive game sunset overdrive was visited by sony's vice president of product development connie booth who approached them without any formal agreement about a potential spider-man game that would be a part of sony and marvel's official property now at the time insomniac games had really only worked on original titles that they developed like sunset overdrive that we just talked about and the ratchet and clank franchise from our childhood so their response was rather neutral in the off the record discussions however many developers on insomniac's team were pretty enthusiastic about the project that was being talked about throughout the company which influenced the decision from insomniac to actually take on the project fast forward to now the decision to move forward with the game changed the entire strategy in which marvel would release games based on its franchise it goes without saying that spider-man 2018 was a major hit amongst the masses of players and with the recent spider-man movies being announced at the time as well as hearing about the new game coming out in four short years this game attracted many and put the pressure on the team to release something particularly amazing in kind insomniac games responded to this pressure with mind-blowing graphics and gameplay spider-man 2018 took the playstation gaming community by storm and many gamers who were envious of the title being exclusive to playstation went out and bought the new console just to play as spider-man because that game really made you feel like you're playing spider-man needless to say the off the record gamble between playstation and insomniac games paid off exponentially spider-man 2018 was deemed by venture beat as the best spider-man game and one of the best superhero games ever and game informer chime in to say like batman arkham asylum before it spider-man raises the bar for one of the world's most beloved heroes the game was received astoundingly well amongst gamers and critics alike so much so that sony green lit not only a spin-off with miles morales but a fully fledged sequel now let's talk about the release date so spider-man 2 will launch for the playstation 5 in 2023 sometime and will like its prequel game be a playstation exclusive with the eventual release on pc as we're seeing currently with the original spider-man in 2018 unfortunately as of right now the game does not have an official month and day for when it's going to be releasing but that information will likely be released earlier than we think with the original spider-man releasing on the playstation 4 in september of 2018 we could see its sequel follow suit hopefully playstation and or insomniac will answer our questions sooner rather than later as this will surely be a console selling game now another possibility is they could utilize the release timing for spider-man miles morales that came out november 12th of 2020 either way one thing that i am pretty certain about is I don't see us getting the game before the second half of 2023. Depending on if PlayStation has anything planned for holiday season of 2023, this could be the big game for that year. Now, aside from the release date and confirmation of Spider-Man 2 for PS5, let's talk more about what Spider-Man 2 will look like. Well, as you guys know, Spider-Man 2 is being developed by Insomniac Games again and will provide a fresh twist on Peter Parker, Doc Ock, and other key characters such as Miles Morales in the game. Now, in Spider-Man 2, Miles Morales is seen in the trailers as a key character in the upcoming game like he was in the first game and in the spinoff. In Spider-Man 2018, the player was able to control multiple characters such as Mary Jane, Peter, and Miles. So it's not completely out of the question that Miles Morales will be a character that the player can choose to play as and go through the entire game or at the very least have specific missions for his character. Now this all kind of ties into a potential leak that I want to talk about regarding the possibility of having character switching, similar to what we've seen in games like GTA 5. So so the alleged leak goes on to say this in spider-man 2 main story missions are done by predetermined characters but in between you could free roam the whole map and do side quests for example peter does a certain main mission and is knocked out so the next mission is miles morales checking on peter and then doing something for him in between peter's mission miles first and miles second mission miles can free roam and do side quests or fight crimes but after the second mission you resume control of peter also remember those moments where the game encouraged you to do side quests while waiting for something to happen specifically for the main quests well this game has more of that to encourage roaming as both characters side quests will also have different dialogue and stuff depending on who you do it as or what order you do them now as all leaks and rumors go take this with a grain of salt but if it's anything like what was just stated we're going to be getting tons of variety with this game the main villains in this game will obviously be venom and as seen in the trailers peter parker himself could even turn into something of an antagonist if venom gets his way as we have seen in the comic 
remakes and previous movie adaptations in the early 2000s. Other than Venom, an ominous voice can be heard throughout the trailer that could be tied to none other than the fan favorite Kraven the Hunter, which personally I am excited and really hoping that he will be indeed in this game. Aside from those two, there really isn't much to work on in terms of villains in the next game. I've got a feeling that they will be establishing another Sinister Six, but on a bigger proportion. Now, aside from the ones we've mentioned, there really isn't much information regarding villains for the next game. One thing that I think is pretty obvious that's going to happen is Norman Osborn will be featured in this game, also known as the Green Goblin, who was set up to be a villain towards the end of the credits of Spider-Man 2018. We also hear numerous references to other villains such as Morbius throughout the previous game as well. I think it's safe to say that there is going to be a big roster of villains that the player will have to take care of in the upcoming game, which is a sign of a healthy amount of content to cover once the game is released, which gives time for Insomniac and PlayStation to come up with DLCs for the game to keep the title fresh for the players. In my opinion, Spider-Man Miles Morales could have been a giant expansion for the game, so hopefully they take that into consideration going forward. Now, I am perfectly fine with spinoff games, but I do feel like Miles Morales could have been just a DLC, but hey, I'm not really complaining. Now, one detail that I would like to point out is the new suit for Spider-Man, and that is the Iron Spider suit. In the first game, the suit's iron legs only featured as a suit power, but judging from the trailer, this could be what sets the difference in playstyle between Peter Parker and Miles Morales. Now, I would like to pose another question. With there being both Miles Morales and Peter Parker in the game, could it be possible that there's some sort of co-op in Spider-Man 2? The simple answer is that we don't know yet. It's almost certain that Miles Morales and Peter Parker will both be playable characters, but it's super unlikely that co-op will be a part of the main game. But definitely stay tuned for more information on that because we will keep you updated if we hear anything new. Moving right along, I want to talk about what platform Spider-Man 2 will be releasing on. Now, according to the PlayStation blog, they have come forward and said that Spider-Man 2 will be coming exclusively to the PlayStation 5 consoles. That pretty much rules out any release or compatibility with the PlayStation 4 console players, so that may cause some friction. I see this as a double-edged sword. With it only releasing on PS5, the players who haven't upgraded or haven't been able to upgrade to said consoles, and that is mainly because it's pretty impossible to find a PlayStation 5 console at MSRP, you're pretty much going to have to pay extra if you'd like to buy a PlayStation 5 right now. Now, this will undoubtedly cause some backlash from the community, but on the other hand, with this game only releasing on the PlayStation 5, we can expect some especially great graphics and amazing gameplay to come from this, all at 60 FPS that we want from our consoles. This decision makes sense seeing as it will cost more resources to keep releasing titles that are compatible with both the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. Now, as with any console release, there is a finite lifespan that these consoles have, so for PlayStation to want to push forward with the best option, that leaves more room for advancement for the current generation consoles, and of course, about four years later, the PC release. So in summary, the release date for PlayStation 5 will likely happen sometime in 2023, likely in the latter half. My guess is either September, or they could potentially utilize that November release date. But yeah, guys, there you have it. That is everything that we know so far about Spider-Man 2, as well as the release date and all of the new leaks and stuff. If we're lucky, we'll hopefully hear about this game sooner rather than later, but until then, we are just gonna have to wait. Now, personally, I'm hoping to have the ability to swing through the city with a fellow web slinger buddy or two. Overall, I think it's safe to say that this will surely be nominated as the most anticipated PlayStation title of 2023. And I, for one, hope it will be just as good as the previous game. Guys, that is gonna wrap it up with this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, and don't forget to stay tuned for more. I'm gonna be covering this game pretty extensively in the form of news, as well as tutorials and guides once again game comes out so be sure to subscribe because you guys do not want to miss it thanks for watching this has been Wes and I will talk to you guys again soon